Hello there. If you guys didn't pay attention, there's 11 days, 4 hours, 25 minutes left for Kokomi's banner to disappear for another year. I think. Hopefully. Now, if you do end up getting her, let me tell you what she does. Okay, she's the best on-field character in Genshin Impact. What do I mean by that is when you go and do her burst, okay? None of your teammates will ever die. And make sure you also do her E skill because uh, that's very important. Now, her burst with her E skill combined is very overpowered. For all the Dendro-related teams that you will go and make with Hydro characters in the game, like Hyper Bloom and Virgin teams, whoever you prefer, with Kokomi, this video is for a beginners who do not have Nahida, okay? Most people do not have Nahida. So this video, I will be specifically talking about uh, platinum okay this 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 kid i will not be using any hard to get four star or five star in genshin impact so just having kokomi just having dendro traveler okay with other free to get four star characters and you can actually go and start making these teams right now sounds fair yep i just woke up and he's gonna make me sleepy i hope i recorded that and most of the time people go and build her in a very wrong way. If you want to go and build the best Kokomi for a Hyper Bloom team that you will go and make with Kuki Shinobu or any other Electro character that is of your choice or a Burgeon team with someone like Toma, again, whoever is your personal choice character, this is how you go and build your Kokomi, okay? You, artifacts. Flower? No, let's start with Headpiece. You want to have Healing Bonus Headpiece, okay? Don't get me wrong. Either you want to have HP percentage or healing bonus. In terms of goblet, you, you want to have either a hydro damage goblet or you want to have a HP goblet. You don't want to be changing that. Again, the focus is going to be having energy recharge on her, okay, and nothing else. Now, in terms of sand, this one, I will be using this one. Energy recharge, HP percentage, this is the type of sand that you will be equipping on her. Now, for the set bonus, I would literally tell you to have two-piece Emblem of Severed Fate on her because if you go and farm Emblem of Severed Fate for someone like your Raiden Shogun, someone like your... Uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Shangling. You're gonna have enough pieces left. Just focus on getting energy recharge on her pieces. A uh, two piece emblem of fate and a two piece of any healing bonus will work or HP bonus like uh, this one. Okay. Tenacity of the middle is two piece. This will also go and work. And that's what you're aiming for. Nothing else. Now, this is the time where everybody messes up with their Kokomi is the weapon selection. Okay. You have watched a lot of YouTube videos so far and you decided to use something called Thrilling Tales of Dragon. You're an idiot if you're using Thrilling Tales of Dragon or Prototype Amber. This is These are the most stupid weapon that you can put on her. What you want to do is like Sacrificial Fragment. Any Sacrificial Fragment, any Refinement, even Refinement 1 is way better than any of these weapons. Okay, and the reason for that is very simple. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. Okay, she only has 20,000 HP as you can see. Like level 85 Kokomi with 20,000 max HP. You may be thinking her healing is going to be bad. Bro, you have no idea how overpowered her healing actually is. And, you, and because of that reason, you have choices. So let me just go to some guinea pigs. No, I'm not going to say guinea pigs. Test subjects. Hey guys, I need your help. Can I have your attention, please? Yep, I got your attention. Jump. Up. Oh. Wow. He didn't do any damage to me at all. Come on, bro. Kill me, please. Kill me. Wait, bro. Just hurry up. Kill me. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. I'm going to die now. Let me straight away. Okay. So he's on his, he's on his way to kill me. And I'm gonna go and do this, okay? Her E skill, look at how much she heals. Oh, uh, 4,000. It's gonna reset, okay? It got reset because it hit the enemy. Now you have, just like this, you get to have 100% uptime on her E skill. And that is freaking broken. That is so broken. Let me just do this, and it's gonna reset any time now. Any time now. That, that got a reset. Fuck. Okay, that's what you're looking for when you go and equip Sacrificial Fragment. Of course, mine is Refinement 5. You're going to have Refinement 1. If you are trying to build someone like uh, Nahira, or if you're trying to build someone like Sucrose, they both work with uh, Sacrificial Fragment pretty good. Okay, this weapon is really good on both Sucrose and Nahira. So you can decide to actually split them up. Okay, one, give one of them to someone else and give one of them to someone else. And, uh, you know, that will work. There goes your weapon and artifact for the most overpowered on-field hydro application. I think, yeah, let's call, no, no, no. I'm not going to call her application. Now that's like an under, understatement. Driver, let's call her an on-field character because most of the time for all the dendro teams that you're going to go and make in the game. Okay, let me just show you. Uh, yeah, I also want to mention, uh, uh, I hope, I, oh yeah, what, this is one of the teams, you got Ayaka, 
uh, Kakomi, Kazuha. This is like the one of the first team that I played with, with in Genshin Impact after I got Kokomi, Ayaka Freeze team. Of, of course, back in the day, I didn't have Kazuha. So I ended up having um, Mona. Where's my Mona? Mona, Mona, Mona. Yeah, I had my Mona. Yep, I had my Mona, the, the team looked like this. It was not fantastic. After getting Kazuha, this team was basically overpowered. And so this is gonna be like your support Kokomi. Okay, do not expect too much out of it. Oh no. No, change characters. Thank you. Now she can keep the, keep the enemy frozen over here forever. And you can just do charge attacks to all these enemies and now, this used to be considered oh, Come on, they're dead. No, <laughs> I don't have energy. Oh, yeah, finally got some. I think a freeze team is not something to sneak at, sneeze at because before Dendro, this was the strongest team that we had with uh, Kokomi, okay? And she was only a healer. I know she was merely a healer, but the fact remains unchanged that um, she kept your team alive and her Hydra application was already overpowered uh, when people realized how good she works with uh, Rosaria and uh, Kazuha and Ayaka, okay? She was, she was basically overpowered. And this was the team that I used for mm, years. Like, bro, I literally used this team in the Abyss for years, okay? My artifacts on my Ayaka absolutely sucks. Don't even look at them, okay? Just, just don't even look at them. No crit rate. Uh, only one good piece, okay? Like, literally nothing good. There's nothing good about these artifacts. They're garbage artifacts. But it's it's still pretty good. But... This no, this is not anything, okay? So, this is your Kokomi, okay? Now, I'm gonna use the same Kokomi in Berger teams and Hyper Bloom teams, and you guys will know how overpowered she became with Dendro, okay? I hope I'm not forgetting something. <laughs> Okay, so first order of business, of course, Nahida is the best option for this. I don't think that most of you guys are going to have Nahida. So I'm going to be using Dendro Traveler. This world is full of unsolved mysteries. Shut up. Sorry. Yao Yao? I mean, I can use her, okay? <laughs> I'll just, I'll just... Everything's ready. Let's go. No. Yep, the game basically crashed. I'm starting it all over again. It's overloading my GPU for some reason. Like, you know, it's eight gigs of GPU and it's overloading it. Now, this is just remember, this is, remember, the weakest team of Hyper Bloom that you will ever go and make with your Kokomi. Let's go. I don't know how to play with this. Come on. No. I made a stupid mistake, didn't I? Fuck, I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm just an idiot. I, I'm such an idiot. Are you skill? Oh, do this. No, she threw in the wrong direction. Do this. On field Kokomi. Let's go, boys. Destroy everybody. We're destroying this. Come on. Okay, the first batch of enemies is gone. Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. E skill. Kokushi double. Yes. First. We're doing this. Remember, this is the weakest, weakest team that you will go and make with your um, Sangunumiya Kokomi, okay? Oh, come on, bro. Why are you alive? Just... Now, I want to tell you a secret about Cookie Shinobu, okay? Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, we're getting Primo gems? Okay, I, I need those. Now, for Hyper Bloom teams, you have Cookie Shinobu and Fischl. For Mostly for beginners, it's easy for you to get Fischl and level up Fischl. Same go goes with Shangling. It's easy for beginners to get Shangling and level up Shangling. You see, when it comes to Toma and Cookie Shinobu, you see, for Cookie Shinobu, if you want to build her, you have to, okay, you have to finish a lot of quests in Liu Wei and Inazuma, and then finally get inside this place, okay? This is the chasm, and then you have to go inside of the chasm to defeat the boss for Cookie Shinobu, and that is just frustrating. So, if you do not have Cookie Shinobu, Fischl is going to be an okay choice for your Hyper Bloom teams. If you're new, if you're low level, I would say level up her, uh, just level her up to 60 and unlock her passives. Those are the most important thing, okay, for your Fischl. Now, in terms of Pyro, the Burgeon team, shup, 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 Toma. He may look very weak to you, but this guy is actually way 
way too good. Shangling is also good, but I think like her vaporized teams are actually very overpowered. So you don't want to spoil her in virgin teams, but I have talked about her in the previous video. You can go and decide who you want to play with in your virgin teams, given the fact that Toma is actually hard to make. Okay, you you have to go to Inazuma, if you this one, and then you have to unlock this place to get his um, materials. So it's, it's actually hard playing with Toma, but if you end up doing that, you get to have the best character for your Burgeon team. That being said, these are the weak teams with Kokumi. Okay. Elemental Mastery main stats, energy recharge, that's what I have. He has uh, 865 Elemental Mastery, okay, 166 energy recharge. If you want to know how I how I build my Burgeon and Hyper Bloom characters, I made a video before this one where I totally talked about how to make one of the most overpowered Shangling in Genshin Impact. So. In there, there is a Burgeon Shangling section. Just go and watch that part and you will know everything that you have to know about making Burgeon characters and Hyper Bloom characters. That's that's how easy it is for beginners, okay? What you're looking at is like the best Toma that you will ever go and have in Genshin Impact with minor investment, with very low investment, okay? So this is the most weakest Burgeon team that you will ever go and make in Genshin Impact. I mean, if you can have max level characters with just four star characters in your team, okay? Let's do this. New skill, important. Do this, Toma. Now, destroy everybody, please. Now, the reason version why it's so it's my favorite is that its AoE is absolutely broken. Oh, come on. Okay, do this. No, no. Do this. Thank you. No, 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 no. No. I missed something. I missed something. No, I'm such an idiot. But they all died. <laughs> oh, the rotation with Toma is slightly hard when you're using Dendro Traveler, okay? Like, because the fear of, you know, if you don't know, let me show you. If you use Pyro characters with your, uh, you know, Dendro Traveler, it explodes his flower. Okay, and it's bad. Okay, you, you don't want that. <laughs> By the way, I forgot to tell you guys this yesterday. When you're using Dendro Traveler, yeah, like you want to hit his burst with either Hydro. You see, with Hydro, his area increases. Yeah, a a area of damage increases. Or let me just wait a couple of seconds with Electro as soon as everything starts. Okay, once it goes in, uh, you know, reacts with uh, either Hydro or Electro, then you're okay to use fire characters but you will soon stop playing with him because he's really not that amazing well he's he's okay he's okay he's okay you eventually will go and have all his constellations just by playing the game and i hope you have a great time playing genshin impact with your kokumi and the teams that i mentioned and i'll see you in the next video because i'm um, um okay bye i almost forgot to mention this like but this is the first part of the kokomi super bloom hyper bloom kokomi hyper bloom and virgin team okay this is the first part where i'm only using dentro traveler okay the next video that i'll upload right after this one is going to be where i'll be using nahira and nahira i'll make the strongest teams that i can go and make with nahira and uh super bloom team with nilu okay that's what i want to talk about in the next video because the video ended up being really long when you talk about details and stuff okay so um yeah that's the whole freaking plan i'll be uploading another video for pretty much the same topic but in that topic you're gonna have a better dendro characters because having better dendro character changes everything about dendro and these teams okay dendro character and hydro characters are the key to this team and they make a whole lot of impact like whoever you go and have